2020 and before we say bye bye to 2021 this same man filled with nothing but greatness the one and only dj neptune decided you know what guys i'm gonna slap you with not one not two but 16 solid tracks in that track he has 25 artists only one man can make this happen the one the only dj neptune neptune how are you doing bro hello I'm chilling, man. How are you, my brother? I am fantastic. We need to, like, have a proper intro for Neptune, one of the finest DJs in Mama Africa, gets to join us. Live from where exactly? I'm live and direct from Lagos, Nigeria, all the way down to Nairobi, where it's happening right now. It's greatness <laughs> for live on TV. Yeah, talk to us, bro. Um, I mean, basically, it's a hot, it's a hot day out here. Uh, we just chilled. I'm actually in my studio doing this right now. Um, shout out to technology. Um, I would have loved to be in the studio with you guys, but I mean, it is what it is. But very soon, January, I'm coming to Nairobi. We're going to have like a proper party. I'll come to into the studio. We'll do all what we need to do. But for right now, the new album is out, Greatness 2.0. Features 27 artists all across Africa from South Africa to East Africa to West Africa, uniting everyone together with the sounds from DJ Neptune. Go check out the album if you've not heard it. And um, um, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Have fun with it, man. Which is very amazing. Greatness 2.0. You got to feature artists across Africa, but we do know uh, life has not exactly been as easy for artists to be able to make such things happen. Question is, how on earth did you manage to get a hold of artists across Africa, even during this whole uh, pandemic period? I, so for me, I started working on this project immediately, right immediately after I dropped uh, my debut album in 2018. And um, the honest truth is this project was meant to drop last year, 2020, um, right after we dropped um, Nobody. But I mean, we all knew what um, happened, the pandemic, um, the COVID-19 situation. So we had to push back. And while I did that, I went back to the drawing board and started working. And um, I mean, now food is ready. I mean, it's not easy. People ask me, like, how did you make this happen? I guess that's why they call me DJ Neptune. I'm out of this world. So yeah. <laughs> enjoy the project, man. Let's have fun with it. Yeah. Wow, fantastic, mate. Neptune, uh, first of all, I want to say, man, it's good to hear you. I'm one of your biggest fans down here in Kampala, Uganda. My name is Doug Ice. Yeah. Appreciate you, man. Yeah, definitely. Appreciate you, bro. It's all about love, man. I just want to say, I mean, for me, I think time and again I've said in studio that for the past five years, I feel like the DJ fraternity has cemented its place when it comes to the world of entertainment, right from people like DJ Khaled. We have you, DJ Neptune. Down here in Uganda, we have DJ Brand, who has a very big collab with one of uh, Africa's yeah. biggest musicians. And then, of course, we have we are celebrating DJ Maforisa, all over the world. What does this mean to the DJ fraternity now that you guys are edging a bigger space into the world of entertainment? Not just standing on the decks, but also getting to studio and producing albums. I mean, I mean, the honest truth is, when you talk about entertainment in general, you can't rule out the DJ because we're like key players. We're literally like the link bridge from the artist to the audience. And in the I mean, while you're doing all of that as a DJ, you have good knowledge for music. And um, I tell my colleagues, like, if you know you have that, then put it into your own energy. Like, put out your own tracks. And um, that's what's been happening. Shout out to every DJ putting out records. Shout out to you, DJ Brian, uh, Maporisa, um, Black Coffee, Major League DJs. I mean, it's a movement, man. It's a movement, and this is the only way we can keep entertaining Africa and the world at large. Because as DJs, like I said, we have way too many knowledge up in here we play with thousands of music on a daily basis so i'm doing refixes in my head as i'm entertaining the crowd and i'm telling myself if i channel this energy into my own production i know i can wait i can make way better tracks and that's what's been happening and that's why you should go check out the project greatness 2.0 so it doesn't seem like I'm just I'm just making noise. It is what it is. <laughs> Neptune, um, <laughs> allow me ask this, man. As one of the key people, you know, as key stakeholders when it comes to African music, what is your take of African music? The year 2021. What have we done good? What can we do better? And uh, you know, the fact that uh, we have to cement the place of African music in the entire globe. What is your take on uh, African music? 
Uh, what's my take on African music, Afro music? Listen, this is a genre that has come to stay. And um, even, even the white folks, they're feeling the heat right now. Like, yo, we don't know what's happening. This sound is different. The energy is insane. The artists are very, very talented. And it's gone into a level whereby even the international artists are looking towards collaborating with our West African artists, our East African artists, our South African artists. And that's the only way we can keep evolving as, as a continent because music knows no boundary, to be honest. Music doesn't understand your language. Music is soulful, and when you connect to it, you connect to it, and you just go with the flow. You know, so I'm happy with what's happening. It's a good time to be alive. All our African artists are shutting down shows everywhere across the globe. DJs are also on that panel as well, and it is what it is, man. It is what it is. I'm so happy to be alive, <laughs> to be part of this generation, making all of this happening. Amazing, amazing. We can definitely hear the excitement when it comes to Greatness 2.0. That excitement has been basically widespread, even down here in Uganda. But one of the things that we got to hear you say when you described this particular album is the fact that you intend it to become a no-skip album, the kind of album where we kind of have no choice but to listen to each and every single song. How exactly do you know that's going to happen? And yeah, briefly explain what you meant when you actually said that it is a no-skip album. I so I mean aside from being a DJ, I'm also uh, an A and R as well. Yeah. So it was only right for me to infuse all of this into my project. When I said I wanted to make a no skip album, um, I mean attention span these days is short, and that's why you see a lot of talent, a lot of artists, um, I'm tilting towards making EPs. Mm -hmm. You know, but I told myself if the product is good regardless of it being an EP or an album, people are going to stay tuned to it and listen. And um, that was the main goal for me. Like, I have so many tracks that didn't make it to this project that I would have loved for it to be on it. But I just said, you know what, let's stop at 16, make it a no-skip album in the sense that the music is good, the production is amazing, the collaboration, some of them have never been seen or heard before. I mean, let, let's just have fun with it. And so far, the review has been good. I mean, this is the third week um, the project came out. It's been doing like quite decent numbers online. Um, a new video dropped last week Friday, OnlyFans featuring Zlatan and LoJ. Another video is going to drop in the next two weeks with Kofi Jama and Jerick. That's my Ghanaian brother and my Nigerian brother representing their own side. And we just keep it moving, man. January, I beg, we drop with Omale and Joe Boy, the video for that. So we're hitting hard, nonstop. Hey, yo, Nape, listen, man. Neptune. I'm right here. Hey, listen, bro. Nothing defines greatness like greatness 2.0. The lineup is beyond greatness. We are looking at Adekule Gold. We are looking at Pato Ranking. We are looking at Lojen Zlatan, Mr. Easy, Stone Boy. Omale, Fino, we are looking at harmonized, we are looking at focalistic. Man, I'm thinking nothing best describes the word greatness like this album right here, Greatness 2.0. I want to ask you, mate, what does it take to be part of this list? Take me through the creation uh, of this. How much fun did you have? How much hustle did it take you to put this list together? This is like the A of A's of Africa's finest, mate. I mean, I mean, it took me a lot. It took a lot of uh, dedication. It took a lot of patience, sweat, and, and blood. Well, not blood, like physically, but like I felt it because I had sleepless nights. I mean, some in my studio, some when I go to my engineer studio, um, trying to get the artists into the studio as well. Shout out to Focalistic. We recorded um, Hustle in my studio right here. Shout out to Lodi and Zlatan. We recorded here as well. Some I didn't record in my studio. I had to move my mobile studio. But at the end of the day, I told myself, I want to create a project that Africa would love and stick to, that in the next five, 10 years, they'll go back to it and be like, yo, Neptune did outdo himself on this project. And that's the goal, to be honest. And I'm, like I said earlier on, I'm excited. Everyone is loving it. I'm loving what's happening. And I'm so inspired. 
And I started working on Greatness 3.0. No time, bruh. No yeah. time. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, uh, you did tweet that yesterday. Uh, you're one of, uh, you know, one of the greatest DJs, but also you said uh, one of our favorite artists is going to be on our Greatness 3.0. But before we cross that bridge of Greatness 3.0, let me take back uh, to, you know, all these artists that we get to feature. I'm going to take you back to track number four. For you, featuring Rema. What's your relationship like with Rema right about now? Because I know when, uh, you know, the album dropped, you know, there was a little bit of controversy and of course, uh, uh, Rema, who has been down here in Kampala and down here in this particular studio, had issues in regards to the release of this particular song. How did you guys, uh, you know, rub that off? And uh, how's your relationship with Rema? And are you going to be working with him again? But also, when it comes to this particular releases, what, you know, does it, uh, you know, go to your mind when it comes to knowing, okay, we've gone through all the stages in regards to getting the contracts right, but also, man, when it comes to releasing this particular songs, so that every particular participant in the creation process uh, is uh, comfortable. Are you, are you there? Neptune, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I got your question, but I mean, there was a little breakout. Uh, okay. Okay, so let me address the issue. Yes, address I mean, the issue address to do with Rema. Rema. Yes. Yeah, let me address the issue with Rema. Shout out to Remy boy. That's, that's my little bro. We're from the same... Um, um, we're from the same hometown. And with that situation, it was just pure miscommunication uh, with his team in terms of his management. Um, I got the record for you sometime last year in 2020. And um, I didn't release it because I felt it wasn't the right time. You know, but all, 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 all parties involved were being carried along. But the artist himself, what I realized, because, I mean, after that whole saga, Rema reached out to me like, big bro, I'm so sorry this came out this way. I was just in my feelings. And I understand because as creative sometimes, your mind is somewhere and it seems like you just you just zoned out. So I, I kind of like relate to where his mind was when that situation was happening. But like I said, it's all love. Last week, Friday, um, I was DJing in the club. He messaged me like, B bro, I see you DJing here. I'm going to pull up right now. And he did. We had fun. And everyone went back home. So it's all love. They say you disagree to agree, and that was just a situation. So nothing more, nothing less for you, Rema DJ Neptune, we did our soul. Amazing. Now, one of the things that we definitely can't wait <laughs> to actually be able to premiere down here on the biggest station in Uganda, only fan. I want to know exactly how this particular project came about because Hey, you have some of the people that we're basically paying attention to right about now, Zlatan and the one <laughs> only Lil J. How did this come about and why only fan? I uh, so uh, why only fan? I'll I'll push that to Lil J. So we have a session right here in my studio. Um it pulled up shout out to my producer Majestic. It was an amazing session. Only fan was the first record we did. And while we were recording it, I just put out a snippet because I usually have like a camera set up up there. So I put out a snippet and uh, Zlatan lives like two streets away from where I live. He saw that and he messaged me on Instagram like, big bro, are you home? I said, yeah. And Zlatan came through, jumped on the record, and that's how we made Only Fan on that day. And that wasn't just the only record myself and Loji made. We did three other amazing songs that I'll be dropping next year, 2022. Um, awesome, man. Uh, DJ Neptune, before we let you go, I just want to know, we are in the world of verses, artist versus artist, and celeb versus celeb. I want to know, in the world of DJing, which particular DJ would you want to have a verses on when it comes to matters one, two, threes? Um, what particular DJ? Careful. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, no. Careful. Not, not black coffee black coffee shout out to black coffee um maybe i mean myself and um master kg will be talking about working and i know master kg has like a nice hot catalog so maybe a versus with master kg or maybe my police as well yeah you know this amazing guy is doing well making african proud pushing the culture out there so i mean at the end of the day is entertainment right it's entertaining. Neptune versus whoever, what, what, whatever it is, we're just going to be here to entertain the, the audience. Interesting. It's interesting that uh, all the DJs you've mentioned are all from South Africa, from Black Coffee, Maforisa to Master KG. There is nobody who can compete with you in West Africa. 
No, 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 don't get me wrong. Don't yeah. get me wrong. We have good job DJs out here. Don't get me wrong. No, in Ghana, we've got Mensa, we've got Mike Smith, in, in DJ Black as well. In Nigeria, we've got uh, Spinner, we've got Exclusive, we've got KYs, we've got Consequence, we've got Big End, like a whole lot of good African DJs scattered, littered around, pushing the culture, doing so much hard work to see that Afrobeat is where it is today. So, I mean, like I said, it's entertainment, it's going to be entertaining. Whatever versus it is, bring it on. It and might even be DJ Kali versus Neptune. We, we, we're up to that. DJ we're Neptune that. versus DJ Brian. Definitely, man. <laughs> it's all about love. Hey, exactly. Neptune. Shout out DJ Brian as well. Yeah. So hey, Neptune, Neptune. listen, man, we want to say thank you for making a minute to catch up with us. We want to say thank you so much. We feel special that you could afford five, ten minutes to come and, you know, talk to us about this whole idea. And uh, we are celebrating you down here in Kampala, Uganda, in East Africa as a whole. And we want to say nothing but blessings. Before I let you go, any closing remarks to your fans in Uganda? Um, shout out to my shout out to my family up there, UG. Um, I was there 20. I was there right before the pandemic to perform. Um, it was um, an amazing audience, and I look forward to coming back out there to do what I love to do best. But before we link up, I mean, keep showing me love. I see all what you guys are doing. Shout out to all the media houses out there. I can't wait to come back and perform. But before then, stay out of trouble. Go stream my new project, Greatness 2.0. Share it to your friends, stream the video as well on YouTube, and uh, we'll link up when we we'll link up. Soon. Somebody, somebody, wait, well, well, hold on one second. Somebody just sent me a message and he said, Doug and Ice, please tell DJ Nep, Greatness 3.0 should at least have a Ugandan artist. Come on, yeah, bro. Sure, Come sure, on, sure, bro. Sure. Yeah, listen. Come Let's on, bro. I'm, I'm down. Yeah? Hurry up. I'm down. So let me give you some homework. Let's make it let, let, let me plug you right about now. You, you could use your, your, your Wi-Fi to check out these names. Check out Azawi. Check out Chameleon. Okay. Check out Navio. Fick for Maker. Check out know, Fick for Micah. Yeah, I know, I know Chameleon. I know Navio. Those are like my brothers, man. Who, Chameleon? Don't worry. We'll make it happen. Uh, we'll make it happen. All right, oh, yo, we'll Thank you happen. so much, man.